The last six weeks or so, I've sat here on this show and laid into the Iowa offense from play calling to scheme to execution to offensive line to quarterback play and, of course, Kirk and Brian Ferentz. I've torn it all down. So tonight, we're going to flip the script and go positive. We live in a world of so much negativity and social media hate. People walking around mad and hateful for no reason. And there's no reason for Hawkeye fans to be acting like that today. It's okay to be happy. All week long, we heard the jokes about the offense leading up to the Northwestern game. Iowa's favored by 11. <laughs> they can't even score 11. The over-under teetering on an all-time low for much of the week. And I get it. The offense has been brutal. Criticism deserved. But against the Wildcats, the offense looked like an offense. The Hawkeyes played well, covered the spread, thoroughly dominated a Northwestern team that had won three straight at Kinnick Stadium. The pitchforks have been out all year for Spencer Petras, so I feel good for him. 220 yards and a touchdown, best game of the season. He's faced the criticism, hears the boos, and yet still goes to work and puts in the time and effort. It's okay to be happy for someone having a sliver of success. The offensive line looked better. Iowa rushed for 178. Give him credit. Well, Northwestern is terrible, so it doesn't mean much. Yeah, everyone's well aware the Wildcats aren't good. But all year long, everyone has been preaching about how bad the Hawkeye offense is. And now they put up almost 400 yards and 33 points, and it's not good enough. If you're that miserable and can't even enjoy a 33 to 13 route, then just stop watching. Spend your time elsewhere. Does this win completely absolve the previous struggles? No, of course not. Will this carry over into next week? Who knows? But just enjoy it for what it is. A good solid win with a solid offensive performance. It's okay to be happy.